So I had a call from my mechanic. He's done a timing belt on a Nissan Note and he's done the front disc and pads on the driver's side of the Nissan Note, as you can see there. But on the front passenger side, we had an issue with one of these stubs, the one that goes in there. And the thread had all gone. So whoever done it previously didn't thread it in properly. So I had to get a new stub and a new bolt so you can fit the new discs and pads in. And once that's done, just need to get this one validated and it'll be ready up for sale. So it's a soggy afternoon. I got as well. I got my hood on. So I'm just going to meet my key guy to have a look at the Nissan Duke because the second key is not working. So let's see what he says and see how much it costs to fix. So I've just met up with my key guy, Nathan. Hopefully you're watching the video, mate. So one of the keys is not working, and basically the board inside the key has been damaged. It's burnt out. So the car still the key doesn't open and lock the car, but if you push the key against the start stop button it does start the car up so i'm just going to leave the leave it as it is for the time being because it's 222 for replacement key and it kind of is a second key it w works to a certain extent it just doesn't open and lock it but it does start the start the car so i'll let the um hopefully the new owners of the car i'll make them aware of that so they're fully aware it's not like a nice a surprise when they get home that the second car key doesn't work and if they willing maybe i'll go half half if they want a second key done or something like that so we'll see what i say but um yeah so um this one is a valet and stuff and then i need to crack on but the weather's not great it's been raining all day today um so it's not much i could do so i'm just gonna do some admin until the weather gets better so if you saw my latest short i've been offered a mini convertible Cooper S, I think it was. Um, convertibles 2018 with like 20 odd thousand miles on the clock. So, a customer's uh, approached me and emailed me her details of the car through my website www.motorsays.co.uk. She's looking to sell it on because she needs something a bit uh, bigger for her grandchildren. So, I'm just going to go over there and have a look at the car. Um, I don't think it's going to be for me because Auto Trader uh, Retail was around 17k if you watch that short. So it's going to be, and I don't offer finance, so it's going to be way out of my kind of stock price and price and stuff. So I'm going to try and see if I can do a deal with her to agree a price on the car and then see if I can line it up for a dealer and then just, and trade it on to him. So join me on that journey and let's see how we get on. I'm not sure if I want to have the whole process of getting a car and then selling it on to, on trade it on to the, um, the trader on this video or on the next video, but let's see how we get on anyway. So I've just come back from meeting a customer who's looking to sell her Mini Cooper S. Really, really nice lady and the car was genuine, really nice example. And it's actually really fun to drive the Cooper S. You can switch it, drop it down into sports mode and it, um, it is nippy. Really nice car, um, sounds, the sport exhaust sounds really nice. Everything was working in the car. Really nice um, spec as well. I think it's like the top spec. Had like um, heated front windscreen, Apple CarPlay, leather interior heated seats it had a lot really so i'm just gonna I took a, what i did i took a, a walk around video of the car took pictures of every panel i'm gonna send it on to the trader now um and see what he see what he thinks i've given him my um, opinion on the car when i took it for a test drive took it for a good about 10 15 minute test drive and it drove really nice so we'll see how we get on with that one um there if I drop it off to him, if we do agree, agree on a deal, I'm not sure if it's going to be in this video or the next video, but um, keep watching guys and we'll see how we get on. So it's a wet Monday morning, I'm back with the Santa Fe. The front two tyres, I don't know if you can pick that up there, but they were borderline advisories because it's way on the inner edge. And this rear one as well, on the passenger side, they were saying, that was a borderline advisory, way on the inner edge of that tyre as well. I can't show you guys that, but managed to get hold of some tyres from, let me just open up the boot, from Facebook Marketplace. So matching two for the front and then matching rear ones. And luckily, the matching rear ones matches the one, this one, the one good tyre that I've got on this side. So that's good. So I'll have a spare tyre as well. And I can probably just sell that on 
to the buyer whoever decides to buy the car for additional price i'm just going to get that done and then it'll be ready for valeting but the problem is with this weather struggling to get the opportunity to value these cars but let's get that done and then what i'll do after that i think i'll book the suzuki vitara put it in for an mat so this is one i appeared in the previous video grand vitara i should say bought it with no um, mat so uh, stay tuned guys to see if that passes or if it fails and what it fails on so i've just got the tires changed on the santa fe really happy that i managed to get hold of these tires you can still see like the the little bubbles on the side of the, the side wall of tires and the spare one you can see how much tread is on there the person i bought it from she said she's only done about 100 miles on these or maybe even a little bit less i think she said her brother is a mechanic and these are two three five sixty eighteens and she had a um automatic antara and what she had on her car was two three five fifty five eighteen but i think he just had these in stock so he put these on and because it is an automatic car they said when they were driving on these tires they noticed that the the car was revving more than it, it would normally on the previous profile tire so just the difference in a 60 to 55 made a difference in terms of how the car was driving and they had to take these these tires off and put 255 55 18s on there and then they sold these on facebook and i managed to get hold of them so that's really good I've got a spare tire there which is good so that's the Santa Fe is ready now she needs a good valet and I'll be ready for retail I've got the Suzuki Grand Vitara booked in for its MOT so let's head over to the MOT station now and see if it passes or fails so we're back in the Suzuki Vitara and unfortunately we have a failure so we've got failure on the front discs that are worn on the inside you were saying and the rear pads wearing thin on the rear that's not too bad some disc and pads for the front and some pads for the back so i'm happy with that actually it's not too bad a result and then what else do i need to do with this one is get a service kit so i don't think this one's been serviced for a good few years so we'll give it a good full service and um and then it'll be having an advisory free mit if you'd watched my previous video you would have seen i had this um crb for the rear light on the driver's side um it became an odd one um because it's got the black trim so i listed it on ebay and i actually have sold it now so i'm just going to get this packaged up in here and get it sent off to its new owner so it's a lovely sunny afternoon so it's time to get some of these cars valeted and up for sale i've got the nissan no back for my mechanic so we did a front disc and pads on it on this one which was advised we on the last mot and we've done the cam belt water pump so it is good to go famous last words but this shouldn't take long to valet there's not much i need to do on this one it didn't come with any car mats but i've ordered some genuine nissan no car mats which have arrived which is good i'm gonna give the headlights a bit of a polish because you can see plastic's not looking great there so let's crack on so five hours later i'm finished with the nissan note looking really nice now so i bought genuine nissan note car mats freed all the levers a bit of wear on there dry seat bolster there cleaning treat all the plastics door cards all done all the shuts the door shuts are done Clean up the engine bay, machine polish the car. Really happy with it. It's taking me five hours again. So, I need to see how I can get a time down on that. Quite a lot of dog hair in the boot on the parcel shelf, but we'll come out with a drill brush. Really happy with this now. I need to go and take photos of it and the wheels come out really nice again I'll take photos do a walk around video get it for sale also polish the headlights not 100 percent 
but a lot better than they were previously and also if any of you guys watching this car or watch cars valid cars let me know in the comments down below what tar glue remover you use because i need to get some because there's little bits of tar spots around the car but i don't have anything but to be fair most of the polish when i polish the car most of the polish doing the polish got it all out i have to give another shout out to john my neighbor rosie his daughter luca and john's wife for baking cookies so yeah I fed me cookies to, throughout the day while i was uh cleaning the car so thanks guys really appreciate it so i've listed the nissan up for sale Aut auto trader recommended retail on that one was five six four seven i'll put it up for five two nine five so i think at the moment i'm lower price in that one but i've got a decent margin in that and i want that to get gone soon so hopefully we'll get some interest in that the CRB first i've had a couple of messages on this one I had someone who's potentially was going to come down to view it a uh, dad who's looking to buy a car for his son and he's really interested in the car the dad was asking me loads of questions about it sent him over the pictures of the service history and on the day that it was going to come down to view it or a couple of hours before it was going to come down to view it he said his uh, son's not interested in the car because his son's after a five door rather than a three door which I'm a bit surprised. I thought the younger younger um, generation these days prefer the three doors, especially for like, first time cars and stuff. But I understand that if you want a five door for the practicality and stuff. But the, the dad really see, really likes the car, and you can, you can tell it's a really nice, clean example. So he said um, he's going to speak to the son again, and I think he's still planning to come and still view it. So we see what we how we get on with that one. And another another guy local to Northampton uh, messaged me about um, on Facebook about this car. And he was interested to come down and view it and then um, he's playing football and he's um, fractured his ankle unfortunately so hopefully he gets a speedy recovery and then when he's feeling better if the car is still available he can come down and view that one so the plan of action today is i'm getting quite a bit of interest in the santa fe i've had a, my mechanic one of my mechanics asked me about this car so this one's all good to go now we change the tires done the service and all that kind of stuff so this one just needs a good valet so i'm going to take this home and get cracking on with this one so before we start let's have a look around the car so the outside isn't too bad just needs a good washing down should be all right shouldn't take too long on the outside inside's worse look at that all that mud and grime on the mats all that down there all this will come out using a jewel brush the rear isn't too bad the boot's pretty bad as well i attack that with a jewel brush hopefully all that, that mud and Sand it looks like will come out. Yeah. Lots of scratching along here. Try not get out as much as I can. So let's get cracking. Just notice some lacquer peel actually along this like rear really spoiler bit here, but I don't think I'm gonna get that done. Kind of expected to for that. Or a bit of wear and tear on the bodywork for this kind of angel mileage. I think I'll leave it as it is. Let's give it a good polish and I'll leave it as a negotiation point when we get some interest and a potential buyer for the car. I wish I could say it's a few moments later or a few hours later, but this is taking about five and a half hours to valet. But I'm really happy with the results. Treated all the levers, all the plastic's been treated. There's so much sand because I got this from Swansea. See, about there by the beach, there's so much sand on this carpet in the boot here. But the jewel brush really oh. helped with that, which is good. Buff the front headlights, so they're looking a lot better now. Look at that bodywork. You can see the mirror reflection there. 
just I need to find a way. Oh, it is that way actually. I'm gonna go to this kind of level of detailing or valeting to get it done quicker than the engine bay. It's not 100%, but it's a lot more presentable than it was. So we're good to go now. Take some pictures of this, walk around video, and get up, get up for sale. I actually had one of my neighbours ask me, do I valet cars? Um, and I was like, no, oh yeah, buy and sell cars. So if the buying and selling business fails, maybe I can get into the valeting business. But um, it's hard work. It's not as easy as it looks, for sure. To speed up the process of drying the cars, I've ordered myself the liquidator drying towel. Um, this was from actually Amazon. It was made by the rag company. And this is um, highly rated. Um, it needs a pre-wash. It's recommended pre-wash before use. So I'm just going to give it a quick rinse and stuff. And I'll use it on my next car. But um, hope, yeah, hopefully this will uh, help dry the cars quicker and then help me um, speed up the valeting process. So I've just picked up the parts for the Suzuki Grand Vitara. So we've got the service kit there. This some pads for the front and this um, pads for the back as well. So I'll get my mechanic to work on that and get it through the MOT and he'll be advising through MOT. The MOT tester was saying there's slight uh, signs of rust underneath the body as well. So he recommended to get some spray to seal it, uh, the underbody of the car. So I've got this under seal. So I'll get my mechanic to do that while he's uh, doing the service and the brakes and pads on the Grand Vitara. And then hopefully, I'm hoping this would be a quick seller, being um, automatic. But it's got this high um, Rotax on this one, so that might put people off. But And it's a two-door. But we'll see how we get on with that one. The plan of attack for today is to get the Duke up for sale. So the body shop guy, when I got the rear bumper done, cleaned up the car for me. So in terms of the outside, it's not going to need much. Just a quick rinse and a polish. And on the inside, if I open it up, let's have a look. I can't remember what it's like on the inside. Oh yeah, I did, didn't I? Before I put it up for sale, I remember now. I got a quick inside and out. So it's at my local valetors, or car wash place. So it shouldn't be too bad. Famous last words. It's not looking too bad. So hopefully it shouldn't take me too long. But we'll see <laughs> on the other side of this video. I've got my drying towel now, so we'll see how that performs on this one. But let's get cracking. So I've done the outside of the Duke. Even though they didn't need much, it's looking a lot better. So I've got my liquidator drying towel. I did give it a quick rinse. So it's still got water in there. But let's just test it out on here. See how it dries the car. Look at that. It's one wipe over. Not fully dry because the towels are wet. It holds a lot of water, but it's definitely making a big difference. It's pretty impressive. Still a bit wet, but that's going to dry out quick. At least we'll not have any watermarks on the bodywork. And that's the car dry now. And that, with the drying towel, it's literally taken me a couple of minutes. So that is a big, big time saver. Car's looking a lot better now. Need to tackle the inside, give the outside a quick polish, and then be good to put up for sale. About three and a half hours later, in total, on the Duke, and it's all done. I don't mind, you know, three hours, three and a half hours is not too bad, I don't think, to spend on the car. The interior is dressed, levers treated, the all cars are done, polished on the outside, it's all looking good. So I'm going to put this one up for sale now, take some pictures, walk around video, the only bit of the car that's letting it 
myself down is this corner area here and you can see it's been a previous repair there you've got some scratches down here so you can see that in the camera got some scratches there you see that i tried to touch it in as best as i could apart from that you've got some dings from like doors and stuff supermarket car parks and all that kind of stuff i'm really happy with how this has come out it's looking good so let's go and take some pictures and a walk around video and then get this one up for sale so that's the pictures and a walk around video for the nissan duke done so i'll get that up on auto trader I listed the santa fe earlier on today on auto trader i had a look last week and there was one similar kind of age and mileage going for four eight something and that's not an auto trader this week so that must have gone so i'll put this up for four six nine five to make it really competitive so put it on today we'll see how we get on with that one look clean it date yesterday and the birds have already done their business that's great isn't it thanks for that birds that fly by so it's Wednesday afternoon, I had a call on the CRI beta. I had a call on, the, the person called me yesterday and they rang me and I missed the call and I called them back and they were like, oh, I wanted to see the CRI beta but no one was there and I was like, I don't work and walk in, it's, it's all a passing trade, it's all appointment based. And he, the guy was um, based in Bedford, which is about 40, 40 odd minutes away from us. He called me back today and he's um, booked in a viewing on this one for Friday afternoon. So hopefully we get this one sold and moved on, which would be good. It's a nice little car for someone. So hopefully I can't see anything why he wouldn't want that car or anything he can pick out on. It's a really nice car, really nice example. So hopefully we get that one moved on. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I think I'll end this one there. Look at that, I need to get that flat tire there. I'll have to get that puncture repaired and then that's i think that's my next on the list to get validated but anyway guys i think i'll end it there thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this one please help me get if you're not subscribed please help me get to a thousand subscribers there's about 50 percent of you who watch the videos aren't subscribed so don't cost you a thing hit the subscribe button hit the bell button so you know when i release the next video also of course if you're looking to buy a car to protect your investment protect your money always do a vehicle score check on your cars for the cost of a drink it's only a couple of pounds and stuff use my link which i'll put in the description box below and the discount code bd20 to get 20 percent off on your vehicle score checks always worth doing for that peace of mind when you're looking to buy a car so especially if you're looking to start getting into the trade you, you don't want to buy a car that's um got some hidden history or some issues that you're not unaware of and when you come to sell it you realize that it's a cat end car or there's finance on it or etc etc so always worth doing thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed it take care and i'll see you on the next one